Okay, my objective in this flight is to demonstrate ground station. Uh, you'll see by a screenshot that I'm going to post that uh, it's going to go um, to a uh, football field that is um, about 1,200 feet away. Uh, I'll try to uh, point the camera, make some adjustments while I'm there, and uh, at that point, uh, it'll come back here lower. The, the maximum height is going to be about 250 feet. So right now, I'm going to start this autonomous flight using ground station. So wish me luck. Goodbye, little drone. I hope you come back. And I hope it gets some uh, altitude here, too. Okay, now I'm actually watching the ground station part of my screen, and the altitude is up to 61 feet. Eighty-six feet, so it's continuing to build as it goes. It's not as if it climbs to 250 feet and then arrives. Uh, it is actually climbing as it goes, and I'm going to assume that uh, the program's objective will be to be at 250 feet at least by the time that it's there. As you can see, it's um, uh, allaying some of my fears as we speak. It's well above any obstacles such as power lines and so forth. So we'll see if my fat, fat fingers, fat fingers, uh, was able to pinpoint the uh, middle point of this field. It's showing right now that it is uh, 1,176 feet away, 1,188 feet away. I still have visual. I am using the Wi-Fi booster. And there you can see I'm right over this high school football field. And uh, now it's going to make its way back to me. And if it follows the same protocol as when it left, uh, it's going to reduce its altitude as it comes to me. Now, I may have had that programmed so that the uh, uh, altitude will not drop until it gets to uh, another waypoint closer to me, uh, as uh, it is now 827 feet away from me and it's still at 250 feet. So I think that I had it programmed at 250 feet until it got almost home. I think that's right. So I'll be able to review this after. Uh, I may be able to review it now. Let's see. I don't want to play with anything on the screen while it's flying here. I do know that it's very easy to regain control of the Phantom uh, you just flip the S1 switch, down one click and back up, and then you take control. Incidentally, after you land after a ground station mission, you cannot start the engines again until you flip that S1 switch, down one click and back up. It will just, the props will just not start until you do that. Okay. Yes, that number two position was set to be uh, 250 feet all along. Now on the third position, it's supposed to be uh, coming down to about 100 feet, if my memory serves me correctly. And then at that point, I'm going to just take control manually with the S1 switch as I described. Okay, it's dropped to 100 feet, call it 98 feet exactly, and now it's back at its home position, which is directly overhead for me. So I am, now right now I have no control over the Phantom, so I'm going to click down once and back up, 
and now as you can see I'm able to turn the uh, Phantom and I have control of it once again so I'm going to bring it right down right here in front of me I'm going to switch this screen so that you can see me now Oops. And here I am back. Uh, as you can see, I, I have control over the uh, Phantom. It is out of uh, ground station mode after clicking the S1 switch. And I would say that that was a perfect ground station mission.